How did dozens of brand new electric buses end up in this bus graveyard, where they eventually burst into flames? This is the Midvale Depot in the nice town neighborhood of Philadelphia. Behind the depot, there's a massive parking lot that SEPTA, the regional public transit system, uses to store decommissioned buses. In June, a massive fire broke out that destroyed dozens of the buses parked here and revealed a major boondoggle that the city had been trying to keep quiet. So this story starts back in 2019 when Philadelphia bought 25 new battery powered buses that cost $24 million. And even if you don't live in Philadelphia, you helped pay for them because the federal government chipped in a $2.6 million grant. Less than a year later, those buses were mysteriously removed from city streets. It turns out that SEPTA inspectors had found serious structural problems with the buses, and they eventually sued Proterra, the company that built them. While that lawsuit was ongoing, the buses were just sitting here unused. Meanwhile, the federal government issued a recall order for over 400 Proterra buses because of a battery defect that could potentially cause a fire. And other cities using Proterra buses pulled them out of commission. Proterra declared bankruptcy in 2023, and then in June, there was that huge fire at the bus storage lot in Philadelphia. The cause of the fire, well, you could probably guess, it was the lithium ion batteries in one of those Proterra buses. So after spending $24 million on electric buses that hardly ever ran, all that taxpayer money just went up in smoke.